getting an exclusive look at a brand new advanced placement course in African American studies that's being piloted at more than 700 U.S. high schools. The class has been criticized by some Republicans who say it's an example of wokeism infiltrating education. CBS News contributor Lisa Ling sat in on what may be the most controversial high school class in America. It's a Thursday morning at Dorsey High School in Los Angeles, and I'm observing a class discussion. What have you learned? What did you know of African women during slavery? Unlike any I've ever heard before. It was entirely okay for Miss Gold to rape a slave, kill a slave, hang a slave, lynch a slave. But if you tell them to read, you were just as bad as a slave. Led by Donald Singleton, who's been teaching at Dorsey for 26 years, these juniors and seniors are a month into a national experiment. The claim is that Africans came to this country skilled. Working to earn college credit through a new advanced placement course on African American studies. They didn't get everything from the Europeans. Give it up for a step, my gosh. At its core, it's a history course, tracing the black experience in America from early African kingdoms through slavery and the civil rights movement to today. There's a major difference between having somebody tell you that you're the ancestor of a slave family and having somebody tell you that you're the ancestor of an advanced civilization. But in January, Florida banned it. Writing the course was inexplicably contrary to Florida law and significantly lacks educational value. We want education, not indoctrination. Do you believe you are indoctrinating your kids? I inculcate my kids with the idea that you're just as beautiful, just as brilliant as anyone else. Not long after, the College Board amended the curriculum, removing content on systemic racism, the Black Lives Matter movement, and the push for reparations. The College Board said the changes were part of their regular development process, but LAUSD Chief Alberto Cavallo says the organization, quote, sanitized the curriculum due to political pressure. I've been an educator for 32 years. Never have I seen education becoming so polarized, so influenced by politics. In all, 18 states have passed laws restricting how race can be taught in K through 12 schools. We cannot perpetuate a lie to our students and push this propaganda leftist agenda, teaching our kids to hate America and hate one another. Do you think that it should be considered controversial? This isn't a political class. This isn't like like choosing sides, it's history that everybody should know. Singleton students rejected conservative claims the class stoked racial division. As if there was a class that was deliberately telling students to hate white people and hate this country, I would be against that class too. I don't think we should teach hatred of any kind. So again, the class is still banned in Florida, and Florida's education department has developed new standards for teaching African-American history that it says comply with state law. LAUSD Chief Alberto Cavallo, who we profiled in the piece, who also served as head of Miami School District until 2020, uh, 2021, he worked uh, for Ron DeSantis, believes that those new Florida standards, quote, erase history. Uh, so Lisa, did the College Board respond to the allegation that it changed the curriculum to political pressure? So the College Board uh, is pretty emphatic that they did not acquiesce to political pressure, that they took a page from uh, teachers who are currently teaching the pilot course. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it's fascinating, and I'm really looking forward to it. As we were talking about it, I was thinking, this is, as you said, it's at its core, it's a history class. Uh, it should be available to everyone. Well, and I think about the way I was taught yeah. history, and I do believe that if we were all exposed to more diverse histories, we would not be in this fractured state in this country. I absolutely agree. Uh, Lisa Ling, thank you so much. Thank you.